shoot her. You sound like a shooter. Shoot her. Shoot her. Colin here with CH Sports coming back at you guys with another sporting adventure and today we're playing disc golf again really there's only a couple options that we can do uh, during this quarantine none of the gyms are open so we can't really be playing basketball plus it's not safe to be playing basketball anyway so uh, we're heading back out to play disc golf and I'll let you guys know what the challenge is when we get out to the course let's get to it all these holes are pretty wide open Parter only round Aced it. All righty, guys. So here we are at the course. Uh, we are at WSUV's campus. They have a quick little nine-hole course in here. Uh, today's challenge is we're going to play a parter, a parter only round. Uh, my weapons of choice are a C-Line P3X and then my Gateway Wizards that I put with. Uh, let's just see how low we can go. Let's get to it. It's kind of just straight down the hill here. Uh, I'd say probably about 180 to 200 feet downhill uh, into the wind a little bit. Let's get to it. So that was pretty good. You got about 20 feet for birdie here. Let's go ahead and knock it down. Uh, it's about, I don't know, 150 feet right in front of us. I'm going to go P3X. Let's get to it. Should be about 20 feet for bird. Got about 20 feet for bird. All right, guys, that's another par on hole two. Eh, I would have liked to convert on that one, but it's okay. Let's move on to hole three. Guys, here we are on hole three. Uh, once again, pretty wide open. All these holes are pretty wide open. Uh, I'd say distance-wise, probably about 200 feet or so. Let's see what we can do. Should be about pin high, probably about 25 feet for bird or so. Like I said, about pin high, about 25 feet for bird. Hello darkness, my old friend. All right guys, another par on hole three. Ah, we gotta start picking it up. Are on hole four. Uh, this one is not going to be reachable with the putter. It's about 350 
and we're going straight into a headwind and it's slightly uphill so uh, I think I'm just gonna try and smash it down there as far as I can and uh, yeah hopefully take par on this one All right, so I yanked that a little bit right. Hopefully I can get up and down for par from there. Guys, here we are on our upshot on hole four. Uh, we got about 120 feet left or so. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the P3X and kind of hyzer it in there, hopefully get par. Should be about 15 feet for par. This is our par look on hole number four. Uh, this to stay at even. All right, feels good to make a putt there. Good par save. Let's move on to hole five. All right, guys, here we are on hole five. Uh, it's right here, right in front of us. I'd say probably about 100 feet or so. Should be pretty easy bird, hopefully. Stay up. Ooh. Almost aced it. Dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, here we are on hole six. Uh, just got our first birdie, so now we're negative one. Uh, this one, gonna be hard to reach it with the putter. It's probably about two. 280 or so, so I'm gonna try and smash the P3X and see if I can get it there. All right, guys, so that hyzered out early. Should be about a 40 footer or so for birdie. Uh, slightly longer than I thought, looking more like 50 feet than 40 feet. Uh, still a makeable putt though. Let's jam one. Uh, you can't see the pin from here, but it's up and over the rise there. I'd say probably about 280, 290. Uh, I'm just gonna try and get a look. Let's see what can. Let's see what we can do. All right, so I grip locked that a little bit. We'll see what we can do from there. Alrighty guys, here we are. Came up about 100 feet short. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try and give it a bid from here. All right guys, so I had the line, came up a little bit short on the distance. Uh, should be an easy par though. Alrighty guys, another par here on hole seven. Means we're still at negative one. Let's move on to hole eight. Here we are on hole eight. Uh, you can't see the pin from here, but it kind of just bends around the corner here. Normally I'd go forehand with like a Firebird, uh, but I've got my P3X, so I'm gonna try and just hit it on basically a roller angle and just hope it pans out in time with the stable P3X. Let's get to it. So that was about the worst shot I've thrown all day. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so here we are. This basket right in front of us is actually hole eight's basket. Uh, or sorry, hole six's basket. Uh, the one I'm going for is actually about 120 feet over that way. That's why these challenges are good. They challenge you to throw shots that you normally wouldn't. And that's a shot that I know I gotta work on. 
uh, the big high turnover shot. But uh, yeah, let's see if I can get up and down for par. Little long, little left, should be about a 20 footer for par. Here we are up on the green. A lot closer than I thought it was, about 12 feet for par or so. Let's knock it down. Not the prettiest putt, but it's stuck in there. Uh, we're moving on to the last hole. Uh, I'm negative one right now, let's try and get to negative two. Let's go. Alrighty guys, here we are on hole nine. Uh, the play is basically just a big spike hyzer over this bush. I'm ba that's what I'm gonna do with this P3X. Uh, yeah, hopefully I can get a birdie here and finish at neg two. Came up about 20 feet short, should have a putt for bird. Here we are, last putt of the day. I uh, got about 20-ish feet for birdie. Let's put one in there. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, you just can't get into it because... All right, guys, didn't convert there. Took a par, finished at negative one. All right, guys, that's it here from WSUV's campus. I had a lot of fun doing this challenge. It definitely challenges a whole different part of your game that you would never expect to have to work on. Uh, something like big, huge, high turnovers with your putter and stuff. It's, you know, it's shots that you would never even think to throw. If you guys have another challenge you guys want me to do, uh, make sure to leave a comment down below. Other than that, thanks for tuning in. It's been CH Sports. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.